Hello and welcome to this OpenTX quick tip. Now this is a quick tip that I've been thinking about doing for a little while and finally got a nudge from a gentleman called James who's one of my Patreons. So James, this is absolutely for you. And what this is about is how you can copy models from one FR Sky radio to another. Now this is something that an awful lot of us have to do because you tend to, maybe you'll set them up on something like this, the x Lite and you'll find that there isn't enough switches or controls you need so you want to move it across to another radio without going through the hassle of programming it from the very start. The good news is it's actually pretty easy to do but you are going to have to use the OpenTX Companion. Now I have lots and lots of videos on the OpenTX Companion so I'm not going to go through the installation and setup of that in any depth. If you're interested, go and set up things like my video on EEPROM management. But what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to copy a model from the X Lite onto the X7, uh, but it could be any of the FreeSky or OpenTX radios so that you can see the process that you go through. Job one I would always recommend before you start changing things on these radios is I would first of all make sure that they're running uh, more or less the same major version of OpenTX. So these are both on OpenTX 2.2, which is going to make it an awful lot easier. Um, it's one of the reasons that it's good to keep your OpenTX reasonably up to date. They're probably not exactly the same version, uh, but they're close enough that it'll work nice and easily. If they're not the same, then you'll find that the companion software has to do more interpretation between the old version of OpenTX and the new version, and it can be a little bit less uh, successful sometimes and the other little tip I'll give you is always back up the memory particularly of the radio that you're about to write to and that way if something horrible happens as part of the process you can go back and put the radio to how it was before you started messing about. So with all that said let's jump on the computer and I'll show you how to do this. So here we are in good old OpenTX Companion and before we plug the radio in we need to make sure that Companion knows which radio we're going to be playing with. So in settings go into radio profiles and pick the profile you have for your radio. If you don't have one for the current radio you're about to plug in just click on add radio profile and follow the on-screen prompts. Now we of course are going to be plugging in our FR Sky Tyrannus X Lite so that's the one we're going to go for and then what we had to do is we have to put the radio in bootloader mode so you have to hold down all four of the directional arrow keys at once you just have to kind of give that a good old press press the power button and when it comes up it'll say on the screen uh, OTX bootloader 2.2.2 is the version of OpenTX and what we can do is we can download all of the individual pieces from the radio now up here on the left hand side of the screen you can write the firmware back up the radio to a file Personally, at this point, I would back the radio up to a file before you do anything else. It's just good practice. And then if something goes horribly wrong, then you're okay. So we'll assume that we've done that. We'll click on Read, Models, and Settings in the radio. So there are all of the things that we've got here for this particular radio. These are all the different memories that we've got. So you can see there's the mini AR wing. If we double click on that and simulate it, you can kind of see exactly how it's all set up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to save all of these models onto the computer so that we can keep them safe because we're going to plug the other radio that's going to go onto in a minute. So what we're going to do is we're going to say save as and we'll just put them on the desktop for now and we'll call it something like x Lite models and we'll hit enter. Okay, so we'll close that out. We'll disconnect the radio and turn the radio off. And then the next job is to get the target radio. Uh, again, we're going to be using a good old uh, QX7 here, and we're going to install things onto this. So we're going to have to change the USB cable because it's a slightly different USB cable for this, which is good. Uh, to turn the X7 on into USB mode, what you have to do is hold the two trims in the middle, press the power button, and it'll come up and the screen looks the same. So this is actually on OpenTX 2.2.0, slightly older version, but it'll still work absolutely fine. I'm going to plug the USB cable up its butt. And then what we're going to do in OpenTX Companion, before we connect and look at things, we're going to go into settings, change the radio profile again, this time to be a QX7. 
and we're going to read the models again from this second radio. So there's all my other ones that uh, we can play with. So now that's the QX7 that we have on the screen. I'm going to open the X-Lite models that we've saved. And what the companion is going to do is say, oh, hang on a minute, uh, it's not compatible. So I'm going to have to convert it. Is that OK? And we'll say yes. Now, what OpenTX has actually done there very quickly is reassigned all the switches and tried to move all the controls and did the best thing it possibly can with those x light models and turn them into something that will work on the radio. So we're going to copy one of these across. So let's copy the Mini AR Wing. Let's move it into model memory 17. Now, let's just discard that. So now we have that new model in the list of models available on this QX7 radio. Now that isn't on the radio yet. It's just in companion. We have to write that to the radio. So here we have to click on this top left hand corner. It says write models and settings to radio. We're going to click write. Uh, we can make sure that we're all okay. There we go, and it's all written. So now if we go onto the radio, you can see that if I turn the radio on and go down to memory 17, there's Welcome mini AR wing. The last thing I recommend when you're doing this, particularly because the switches and controls are different from each radio to radio, you are gonna have to go through and check all of your switch assignments to make sure they're still in the place that you need them to. But hopefully that's interesting for those of you that want to do this kind of stuff. It's very quick and straightforward to do these things on the radio. I'd always recommend make sure that you're backing everything up when you're playing around with this stuff. Do it on every radio that you're playing with and then you've already got a way to go back. But copying between different models using Companion is actually pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching the video and watching right to the very end. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you like the video and like what I'm doing here, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon too. If you really like what I'm doing, you can go the extra mile and become one of my Patreons for access to me directly for support and also giveaways and regular updates too. If you're looking for particular content, then check out the playlist. I organize all of my videos into playlists. So if you're looking for a particular topic, you can find everything here. If it's called Introduction 2, it's designed to start very simply and build on that simple introduction to teach you all about it. If it's called For Beginners, then that is really aimed at people who are brand new to that part of the hobby. You can also search on YouTube for anything that you're interested in using the search function at the top. So iNav Painless 360 will find all of my videos and even the playlists around iNav. So thanks again for watching and happy flying.